Hi Scorpio, it's Crystal Rosie Comfy Soul and I'm here to do your reading. I'm going to focus on the Eclipse Energies and I am looking to give you some advice so you can get through this week, the rest of the month maybe, and prepare for what's coming in May and June. Um, <laughs> I already hear the negativity, Scorpio. Why? Why are you doing that? Why are you like, Psh, nothing's coming, ain't nothing coming? I don't hear that. I know better. Scorpio's my rising and I know better. So if I know better, you should know better. Okay. We don't do negativity here on this channel. It's not how I roll. Okay. So, uh, correct yourself. <laughs> okay. Let's see. All right. Heart chakra. Are you in pain? Cause in the background here, I got soul asylum, runaway train playing. Runaway train, never going back, wrong way on the one-way track. Seems like I should be getting somewhere. Somehow, I'm neither here nor there. You're just like, ho-hum, nothing's happening. My life sucks. My heart chakra's broken. Poor me. Stop it. Stop. Why aren't you making awesome shit happen for yourself? Yes. Be like Crystal. Go make some cool, fun shit happen. Let's go play. Let's play, Scorpio. Come on. Come with me. <laughs> All right, hold on. What else we got? Yeah, don't get stuck in the heavy. Don't get stuck in what was back there. Don't get don't get all nostalgic about shitty things in the past. You're in your integrity. You leveled up. You're doing the right thing. Just have a good boundary that, that says, I expect people around me to do the same. And let me tell you, it's not from your mouth. It's from your vibe. It's the way you hold your head up high. And you sit in your throne. And you say, yes, you may bring this to me. Or no, no, that's enough. You just receive and let the flow come and go. Don't, you don't have to protect yourself. You don't have to fight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to get used to being on your throne. You're not used to being in goddess mode where you can just relax and receive because you've spent so much time trying to put fires out and um, protect yourself and involve yourself with people and situations that you didn't need to over involvement when that was your sign to let go and give less fucks just let go when things got heavier instead of sitting back and just watching that happen you wanted to fix it and go in and grab it and you know i'm seeing uh like um how they uh roll up pretzels have you seen people roll pretzels like Annie Ann's in the mall or whatever, where they take the dough and they squeeze it out and they're rolling it and then they do the flip and boom, it's a pretzel. You tried to do that. You tried to wrangle it down and shape it and mold it. Um, and then you got tired. So I need you to let go of doing the work. You're the pretzel. Um, I was going to say purchaser, but you're not even doing that. Someone's buying the pretzel for you and handing it to you just the way you like because they know what you like. And I just need you to sit there confidently now because you lost a major sense of confidence. You lost your fire when you got hurt by this other person. And now you're getting it back. And the way that you're going to keep it is to stay very grounded and just put your toes in the grass, stay connected to Mother Nature. You need to get outside, feel the love. Nurture yourself, buy yourself some flowers, just nurture the little angel within you that deserves lovely things. And that will show the other person how they need to take care of you. Grab a book and a chair, go sit outside and read. That's what I see you doing in my head right now. The simple things, get back to the simple things that made you happy that didn't involve motherfuckers. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Cause you're all sensitive now. Before, Scorpio, the way you would do things is to talk your way through something and get ahead of it and control it. That didn't work for other people. That was too much. That was too much control. That's You came off like a barking dog. So that's not who you are. That's, that was exhausting for you. It's just something you felt you had to do for survival. And I'm asking you to just let go of that now. That was your habit. That was your addictive pattern was to protect your sensitivity by barking. There's got to be another word for that. Over aggression. Uh, being so afraid that it's going to get worse. That you accidentally make it worse by engaging in conflict. 
That's a better way of saying it. You see something coming. You know you're healing. This is about a past life issue. So I'm going to go ahead and look at your past life because they want me to take a look. And I already know that you know what this feeling is that you're feeling. For, and I see so many of you right now feeling different kinds of ways. And you're like, what is she picking up on? You're just going to see when I go through the past life. You'll know exactly how it relates to you and what's going on. So let's take a look. Because I feel like you... Um, <laughs> this is funny. So uh, as I'm shuffling, I keep music on in the background. And the song that's on right now is Bon Jovi, Living on a Prayer. So this is coming from your angels. If you hear this song, this is them telling you, lighten up, relax. We got you. We heard your prayers. It's already done. You're halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. So just woosa, okay? A little woosa. Authority figures. Did someone put you down? Did you put yourself down? Did you become over authoritative over other people? Let's try to balance this energy out and see what this is. Okay. Mm. Okay, I see a figure, could be a mother. So maybe in this lifetime you lost your mother. Somebody died who was a nurturing figure to you. Doesn't have to be female. It can be a nurturing teacher you cared for, things like that. But this was somebody who was in a position to be in authority over you. So um, they left. This happened previously in a past life. In this time, in this lifetime, you are seeking that same energy that left you before. And you need it in a nurturing way. So the way that you tried to find it was through spirituality and through community and through people that also liked spirituality and angels and the things that you know and love. It made you very wise. It helped you remember what you learned in your previous life in Atlantis. You're very, very spiritual. So you, through pain and loss of someone, remember how to heal yourself through spirituality. You actually needed this pain, this loss, this person removed in order for you to find yourself again. To get out of the overproductive mode trying to take care and control things to the mode where you sit back under a tree, chilling, living your best Native American life in a meditative state, going, all is well. I am at peace. I attract good things. Somewhere, when you get triggered by people leaving your life, whether you even give a crap about them or not. You even give a crap about people that you don't even necessarily care or like that still bothers you when they leave your life. Instead of celebrating, you get angry because you weren't in control of how they left or you're not the one that sent them away. That's too much. Just let God be the filter and let go of what someone did to you and focus on how amazingly easy it is for you to be taken care of and by others, but be surrounded by the right tribe of people, your Native American clan, when you just ground yourself and relax. It's okay when people are removed and taken away. Divine timing is always at play. That doesn't mean they're gone permanently. Sometimes they're just a lesson. Sometimes they need to go away for a minute just so things can settle down and shift and be healed again. Yeah, too much conflict. That was the problem. Way too much conflict by trying to keep everybody in your life. It's, it's, it's like putting a collar on your friends and your lovers. And they just want to be as equally free as you. So it causes headbutting. Now I see two goats going at it. Too much headbutting. Okay, what else? Oh. So then when the conflict's over and they go away, it leaves you in fear. You feel orphaned. But instead of just letting go and focusing on you writing and teaching and, you know, assessing your feelings, 
Instead of doing that, you imprison yourself. You enslave yourself in the idea and the story of what's happened between you and these people. Stop. Don't. Just. Not everyone's meant to be in your life. If you kept everybody in your life who you ever met, you would be overloaded with trying to remember these people's names. Just let it go. Not everyone's supposed to be there. You don't have the time and energy to deal with everybody. You have time and energy to deal with people that bring you reciprocal love. That's who you have time and energy for, okay? This is about your love life coming correct, not having a bunch of mediocre people around. Got it? One more. One more they told me. Yes. They just wanted to confirm this is the orphan feeling. You, you even want your enemies around just so you have something to do and talk about. Stop. Just stop. And take care of you and you'll never feel orphaned again. And you'll attract the right people. And they won't leave. Okay? All right. Let me get you some advice from the Archangel Raphael Healing Deck by Doreen Virtue. And then I'll pull a Light Sears Tarot card for your counterpart to see what's happening with your other person. Oh, oh, yeah, all kinds of stuff fall out. Okay, so uh, for those of you that are freaking out on time, oh my God, I'm getting old, I don't have babies. You're totally fine, everything's good, you're taken care of, the baby's there, don't worry, just calm the fuck down, relax. For the rest of you that are still wanting something, whether you're done with the babies or whatever, or you wanna start a career, or you need a business partner you're manifesting, my ears are ringing, so that's the other half of you, you absolutely are attracting exactly what you need for this situation. It's already on the way. I need you to know that it's right on the other side of the wall that you have built up. Just put it down and look at the landscape. Okay, just relax. Drink some damn water. Calm down. Grab water when you go outside and read a book and put your toes in the, in the grass. And take it easy. This is your inner child that needs to relax. Now, I'm going to go back to this first card here. This is your inner child also relaxing. You're taking care of. The angels were watching over you before you came, and they're watching over you now, and they'll be watching over you when you die. They will come get you, okay? For right now, just take care of your baby inner child. We know that you're feel orphaned. I'm giving you a giant hug. You know what? Everybody stop the game right now. Put your arms out like this. Put them crossed and give yourself a giant hug. Breathe, hug. I think I feel you wanting to cry now. Go ahead and cry and just say, I love you, little baby girl, little baby boy. You're so safe. Oh my God, as I say this, Guns N' Roses, sweet child of mine is on. Cannot lie, cannot. Open it up again. Switch arms, cross the other way. Take a deep breath and relax and just hug yourself. Maybe turn your head to your shoulder, stretch your neck, just feel all that tension, all that stuff you're hanging on to. Just let go, just let go. Oh, I needed this too, because this is my rising sign and I needed to do this. Okay, we're gonna play. Uh, your homework is to be done with whatever videos of mine that you're gonna finish watching and then go outside and play in the sunlight. Go do that. Enjoy some sunshine. I don't care if you're sitting in the grass and poking bugs or whatever, or you grab a book and you sit down. Just get outside and remember what it's like to be free and not tied down to people's energy. And especially at your own hands. <laughs> okay? Just relax. And um, because you're relaxing and you need your body to relax, try to stay away from stimulants. Don't drink too much coffee. Drop the Cokes. Um, feel what's happening in your body. And if you need to sleep, please sleep. If you need a nap, please nap. Honor your body as you recover. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to pull a light seer's tarot card for, <laughs> for your counterpart. And as I say that the song that comes on is Kenny Loggins danger zone. Um, God, you're on red alert for, you don't even, you don't even, you're terrified of this person showing up. And at the same time, you want them to. And at the same time, your energy is repelling them with your... Ah, just <sighs> calm down. Okay? Okay, let's see. Oh, my God. Are you so yelling at me right now? I just heard some yelling people. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm trying to help you out here. I'm trying to help you. Calma. All right. 
Oh, 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 something fell. What do we got? Oh, uh -huh -huh -huh. no wonder it was all falling out of my hands. You have a super passionate, very quick energy coming in. You're like, it's been so damn slow. I don't even believe that shit now. But I tell you, when this comes in, everything's changing fast. Your home, your career, a business you start, where you live, everything's different, different. I'm even hearing like, even if some of you got a car, you're still getting another one. Like there's still like, oh, I got me a new sedan. No, now you're getting a van for the kids. Like there's more and more and more coming. Okay. More and more and more. So fast. So fast. That's why you need to get ready. Relax your energy and stop being angry that you don't have and start getting excited at what's coming at you. You get signs. You know it. Trust it, please. Yes. Cannot lie. Four of Wands. That's my twin card. This is celebration. This is if you're already married, your marriage coming back together. If you're not married yet, this is your soulmate coming through and your marriage coming together. This is go time. Please change your perspective and your attitude. I know you've been through it. I know it's super difficult to feel orphaned and go through these feelings. I'm not dismissing that at all. You've been through some shit. So please honor yourself and be gentle so that you can attract a gentle energy that's going to meet you in the right way. One more they said. Yes. There's a passionate, beautiful, slow beginning on your terms. Ace of Wands. Okay, your passion, your terms, the way you want it. It's already here. I'm telling you you're safe. So if you are confused, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but I'm going to say it. If you're confused and you don't know what offer you should take, or if you are afraid that this person hasn't changed yet and it's really blocking you from shifting into an, an energy of gratitude and enjoying the sunshine, please come in for a reading. Um... Go to ComfySoul.com and book. Link is also in the description. I promise you I will give you evidence and show you this person's personality. I'll give you a description. I'll tell you their job or what they, you know, I'll give you whatever you need to hear from spirit so that you know I have the right person in my hand that God is delivering to you so that you can relax and be playful again. I really, really miss playful Scorpio energy. I'm bringing that back into my life instead of being angry and defensive. And um, I know you want the same. So let's do this together. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like a personal reading, you can book that down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.